Family, friends, supporters and people of Motukoita packed the St. John Geist Indoor Complex today to witness the official declaration of the new chairman, Daddy Toka Jr. Mr. Toka thanked the people of Motukoita for trusting him to lead the assembly for the next five years. He said his first order of business was to set up an office for the assembly and review the administration by making sure the right people were at the right positions. He pledged to work closely with the newly elected members to deliver for the people of Motukoita. I mean, my part here is to work with them. It's very important that I work with the 16 uh, new members to ensure that we deliver what the people of Motukoita need. And it's very important. And I, I've actually started the discussion with a, a number of them, and it's very important that I do that. I started because we were uh, during my campaign. I always said we want to hit the ground running. I have noted we, we are already behind the clock. Motukoita Assembly doesn't have an office. That's going to be a priority. Uh, and, and also with the staffing and administration. Um, and I know there's, there's been a lot of talk about um, uh, um, transparency, about good governance. Those are the things I'm going to put into the Motukoita Assembly moving forward. So there were four seats for this election. The women representative for Motukoita East and West respectively, the ward councillor and the Motukoita chairperson. A total of 3,116 people voted in this election throughout the 14 electorates of Motukoita. The Papua New Guinea Electoral Commission returning officer, Terence Hetinu, said before the election began, there was an electoral update with the use of local enrollment agents. To ensure that eligible voters were enrolled and given the opportunity to vote. At the close of the enrollment exercise in July, a total of 18,379 uh, voters from Mutukoita were registered. From that, a further reduction was done after non Mutukoita wins, as well as those who have been deceased, were removed from the roll, and we were left with 1,933. Our next teams were also deployed into communities of the Motukoita electorate to inform and educate the people on the requirements and aspects of the elections. 125 candidates were nominated to contest in the 2018 Motukoita Assembly election with one who passed on before polling began. Of the 125, 16 candidates were elected as members of the Assembly. Mr. Toka's declaration ends the 2018 Motukoita Assembly election. Shalin Eri, National MTV News.